Well, how y'all are? This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on eight. I got this OU's gun. And the OU's gun I got today is this guy. This is the Chiapa. The Chiapa 1873-22 Western style single action revolver. Now this gun is in 22 long rifle, but it is a full size recreation of an 1873 Colt. It has black plastic checkered grips on it. Uh, it appears to be an alloy frame steel barrel and steel, uh, no, the cylinder on this gun is actually aluminum. And it has steel liners. Okay. The shroud of the barrel is aluminum, and it has a steel liner in it. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to like that, but, you know, it is a, a pretty nicely appointed. Everything's like it's supposed to be. The screws are in the right place, you know, and so forth for a Colt clone. Uh it's got a good size to it, and it's got a good weight to it. It feels like a 45. It's in long rifle, and uh, I don't know. This good old 22 pistol so far works like it's supposed to work. Works has four clicks in the action, just like a Colt. Uh, doesn't have a transfer bar, and doesn't have. How does this thing work now? doesn't appear to have a transfer bar in it. So down on is down on. It has, looking in there, looking at it, uh, it doesn't have, seem to have any safety on it. So, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work out for us because it doesn't have a rebounding hammer. It doesn't have a transfer bar. Uh, when that hammer is fully forward, it's fully forward on a firing pin that is fully forward. Uh, I'm not real sure this gun wouldn't be drop safe, I don't think. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to make the ruling on this gun, having handled it for the first time and inspected it and looked at it, that this gun is not drop safe. Because uh, you can look through the battery face of the frame and the cylinder and look at that gap and see that that hammer is fully forward and the firing pin is protruding from the battery face. So that tells me that that hammer is down on a live, live round. So I'm going to say right out of the box that this gun is not drop safe. Uh, if you've got six beans in the wheel and that gun hits on the fire and hits on the hammer, it's going to crush that primer ring and it's going to fire that gun. So. That's one real serious strike against it right there. Half cock, yeah, you could put that gun on half cock, I guess. Or you could put five beans in the wheel. You could do that. Having said all of that, let's load it up and see how it shoots. See how the Widowmaker revolver shoots. Now I'm going to shoot it at steel at 25 yards. I'm not going to shoot it to paper target. I might shoot it to paper target. Okay. Hey, let me shoot six. I got a shoot and see up down there on the previously used test target. All right, we got, got six in it. Let's see how it goes.
All right, this is at a, looks like a three inch diameter dirty bird target or shoot and see or something like that. Let's see how we do. Hit it a few times. Let's see how they objectify. They ejaculate nicely. Ejector rod springs pretty stout. All right, let's try six more on steel. Ruger is coming out with a single action revolver that's an alloy frame gun to compete with these cheaper single action revolvers. I think they'll have the market once they come up and are fully up to speed, just to tell you the truth. It will have a transfer bar in it. And uh, yeah, that firing pin's fully down on that rim. <laughs> that ain't much punkin'. 10 inch square, 25 yards. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. See how these ejaculate here. It's a good shooting gun. You know, despite its shortcomings, it is a good shooting and good working gun. All right, let's go look at our 15 yard accuracy and see how we did. Oh, not too bad. One, two, three out of six on it. I think that's one and that's one. Mm, I may have pulled one off there completely, I guess. Yeah, it does shoot. It, it, it shoots. With no mechanical safety at all, Uh, that would be my concern on this design, this gun. <laughs> the new ones like this are somewhere in the neighborhood of $250. Uh, if I had the choice between this gun and the Heritage, uh, I would, uh, I'd probably choose the Heritage, basically because it's A, $100 cheaper, and B, has a mechanical safety on it that you know one of the inherent problems with single action revolvers is is the safety uh, it's hard to get a single action revolver design up that's safe uh, transfer bar rebounding hammers that sort of thing but this gun has no mechanical safety to it that you can apply like I said, you look at that gun through the cylinder gap between the back of the cylinder and the battery face of the frame, and you can clearly see a firing pin protruding under the pressure of the hammer. Uh, otherwise, this is a great little gun. It's just uh, in the hands of an inexperienced shooter, uh, someone inexperienced with single action revolvers and and their safety regimen uh this gun could easily easily be a death trap 
<laughs> I hope somebody out there at Chippewa Firearms is watching. Uh, anyway, that's about the size of that. Uh, uh, Chippewa Death Trap. Um, like, take, share, if I commentate, and subscribe, and leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way, or a hundred dollars, I don't care, <laughs> in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door. Um, and if not, I keep making content for you. All right, then, we'll see y'all.